this is a podcast all about bears. You either cheering for this team or just pulling your hair. Pulling your hair. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right back and tell you how I became the number one Bears fan. That boy is Benny Hunt. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. You talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Before I get to the episode started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, and make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. Bears fans, it is finally happening. Matt Nagy this morning in his press conference officially has named Justin Fields the starter Moving forward, no, that does not just mean for this week's game against the Raiders. That means moving forward for the rest of the season, no matter what happens, Justin Fields is the unquestioned starter for the Chicago Bears. And let me tell you, I am super pumped about this move. The moment that Andy Dalton got hurt and Justin Fields took the field against the Cincinnati Bengals, the writing was on the wall. The writing was on the wall that Justin Fields would be the bear starter going forward. Of course, Matt Nagy kept saying over and over and over again that once Andy is healthy, he is our starter. I never believed it for one second. I knew that he was just saying that, but Matt Nagy finally came out and said that Justin Fields is the starter moving forward. So before I get any further, I am going to put on the tape of Matt Nagy officially naming Justin Fields the starter. Um. I told you the last couple of weeks we've had some some good conversations internally. Um, it's it's helped us in the last couple of weeks. Continuing that process this week, it's uh, it's it's led to making the decision to move with Justin as a starter. Um, you know we've been patient with this. Uh, we've grown with him. We're proud of Justin. Uh, he's been a great teammate from the very beginning. And I think what needs to be understood is that. Um, from Justin's side, you know, with the injury, the, the, the plan and the process that we had going into this um, was important to understand. And, and then when Andy unfortunately got hurt with his, with his knee, that sped the process up, that sped the plan up. And so um, I've always said from the beginning to everybody in here, to our players, coaches, to, 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 to you all when you all ask, is that um, we'll know. And, um, he's done everything to, to show us that he's ready for this opportunity. A couple of things about the announcement that Matt Nagy made, naming Justin Fields the unquestioned starter for the Chicago Bears. It sounds like to me that this was not Matt Nagy's decision to make. It almost sounds like it was from the top down, the top people of the Chicago Bears telling Matt Nagy, it's Justin Fields' time, whether you like it or not. Put Justin Fields and make him the unquestioned starter. Just the tone of Matt Nagy's voice. It just doesn't seem like he's too pumped about naming Justin Fields a starter. And he actually wanted Andy Dalton um, as a starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Two, we all know this. The writing was on the wall. Justin Fields, it, it's the right move to make Justin Fields a starter. He gives the Chicago Bears the best chance to win. Yes, we beat the Detroit Lions. I told you that that win honestly means nothing to me. They need to beat the Raiders this Sunday. They need to beat the Packers. They need to be beat the Bucks or be competitive with the Bucks at least. But if you watched that Lions game, you saw the confidence in Justin Fields' throws and the throws that he was making, especially when we use those two tight end sets, max protection, roll him out of the pocket, play action. That's what Justin Fields is comfortable with. And when if you can continue to do that and make that the focus of the game plan, this is obviously the best move and gives the Chicago Bears the best chance to win. Like always, I want to hear from you guys. How are you guys feeling about Justin Fields being named the unquestioned starter for the Chicago Bears? I'm pumped for it. I know we're going to have some rookie growing pains, but i rather watch Justin Fields out there developing rather than watching Andy Dalton out there struggling. The good news here. It also sounds like Bill Lazor will also continue calling the plays. As long as Matt Nagy is just being the head coach and Bill Lazor is calling the plays, 
I feel like we will be able to develop Justin Fields properly. If it's vice versa, if Matt Nagy ends up taking the play calling back, that's when I would be kind of concerned. But at the moment, if Bill Lazor is calling the plays for the Chicago Bears, we will be able to develop Justin Fields, even though Montgomery's out, run the football, hard play actions, get him out of the pocket, give him, make him comfortable, and I'm confident that we will continue to see Justin Fields develop and making those really, really good throws that he did against the Detroit Lions. So before I let you guys go, make sure you comment down below and let me know how you are feeling. I would love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. Also, make sure you go check out CBDX.com. Use my promo code KOTM to get 20% off your order on all gummies, flour, disposable vape pens, all the good stuff, especially when you're dealing with a stressful Bears team like this year. Other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't bout it, you ain't bout it, you ain't kick on the mic.